Oh, hello again, and <laughs> welcome back um, to the last part, hopefully, in this uh, process of how to remove fungus in AFS Nikoa, 55 millimeter to 300 millimeter, and it's uh, 4.5 to 5.6 G, E, D, V, R, D, X, and so on. Maybe we missed some. Yeah, numbers. Yeah, okay. That will be the hopefully the last part, and uh, yeah, interesting. So, <clears throat> as I left the uh, the lens as uh, in, in the second part, uh, we need to put in this uh, cover here, and uh, in the beginning in the very beginning, long time ago. Uh, come on. Um, I set the mark here on this uh, ring, a uh, plastic cover, because it, it uh, has to sit the exact same place, in my opinion. So, uh, and I have my mark here, reference mark. So it will uh, stay there we put it on yeah it has to be turn it in kind of to put it in maybe it's also just a little more easier if we do so so it will not fool around uh -huh. try to catch Try to come out. And they should uh, just sit there. As you can see. So. Now, then the next thing is, <clears throat> need to put the, the next tube, uh, this one, and uh, it will also come in here, if we put it over here. I have my, um, my reference mark somewhere here there it is and you see <coughs> the um, this long notch here <coughs> has to those has to come in here and if we turn it uh, if we go all the way down here it uh, this gap here will uh, end with this kind of a fork or so so it has to be the the right track or notch or whatever so uh, we need to put in the um, those three plastic metal thing sits there and the next one and remember how it should sit uh, the sides has to sit in that way so one side here and one side there and the the convex end has to sit there so the last one so there oh, gosh hold on a second it goes too fast so we just there and then align it 
there. Now, <clears throat> put it over, check that the other uh, sits correct, and then we can just start to put in the, the screws. Oh, only one at a time. So, <laughs> there they should be. So now we are safe home in that way. And number two. Number three, and it has to sit there. So now check uh, if it's uh, not too sticky or so, if you have tightened the screws too much. So, here we are, and then gently tighten it, it will not fall out anyway. So now, then we are here, and it works pretty good. So, now next thing is the... Um, yeah, what else to put in? This one, maybe? I think it can fit somewhere. <clears throat> I'm very sure. Uh, just check. Where's my mark? It's there. I have this, this mark here, which I said in the beginning. And uh, it has to be in line with the mark somewhere here. So if I put this over here, can it fit somewhere? It can. I mean, it can only sit in one position. So I have to find the lock, the end screw which will be no it's not there mm. where did it go here we are see the screw here so we have to check go on there and turn it but it's not the correct mm have to go a little further. So here we are. Hmm. There. And where did that screw went? Hmm. Something is wrong here. Oh, hold on. My mark is here. So here we are. There. And then the screw hole is here. So, and I can put in one special screw. It will be this one. E Come on, little fellow. So, so now I can move this, this, the focusing ring. 
And then um, I have to put in this barrel here, tube, whatever names, and uh, it should go in here because I, in the beginning, I set a mark here. See the arrow here? Hopefully you do. It will go in with that mark here. I also said in the beginning. So if I put it in there, then wiggle a little. Mm, maybe you have to go upside down and then it comes in. So if I look closer to it, I also set this D, just a mark, whatever, and uh, it was in line with the, with the, uh, where the GMR sits. And uh, this mark I set in the beginning. So that's why I need to put in some screws, those special short short screws and uh, hold on a second those goes in here so just to make sure they will move tighten it gently And there are three of them. There, and the last one. So, and now I can uh, hopefully use the focus ring, and it works pretty good. Then I I think I will take in the the next thing, which will be the the zoom ring here, and put it on because it has to come on before all the electronic parts and also the um, the name plate uh, ring, whatever it calls. So I will put this on. There should be a mark somewhere <coughs> here. And it will also be in line with my uh, reference mark here. So it should come on, uh, I mean, when it comes on to this here. Sorry. <laughs> And take care, good care of the flex. Some of them are a little fragile. So, and it sits there. My 300 mark is here. And it's in line with the, uh, the big flex cable. And then I can put in the, uh, where did it go, where did it go, where, uh, yeah, it will come sooner. Well, at least I can put in the, this uh, brush, and it also has to sit correct. And you, you can put it in that way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it has to turn over. Of course, there was something wrong. So, in that way here.
Theo Benton. It's actually a bit difficult to get them in. So I wonder how they put them in. So I might think it should be that something like that way. Then align it in there. A tiny screw. And then we should be able to catch it. Okay, it's not easy. Then use a tweezer to press it on the side. And then, since I also set the mark in the beginning, <coughs> it has to sit correct. So the two marks I set here, one on the plastic and one on the, um, on the brush, it uh, should align up very good. So there. Mm, yeah. Let's see. And it works fine. it's correct so oh gosh out of focus Aye. sometimes I work out of focus is fine but uh, they sometimes get folded now <clears throat> then we need to put in some other parts like this one what do you think uh, before we do that, um, I need to actually clean the magnetic uh, tape here, I mean the magnetic strip with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, where do I have it? Somewhere. And I will just use a curtain bud. Because it has to be clean. If not, it will um, it will end up simply the outer focus would uh, get confused because it cannot find the the track for it. I mean the information that is into the magnetic strip. So it's just like an old tape recorder. Very gently and very light. So, and it's all looks fine. There was just something here. So, I think it's fine for now. And uh, then I will put in the brush. I mean, not the brush, but the the GMR sensor. Looks fine. Be careful when putting it, putting it in. And load a uh, screwdriver first. So 
you're ready to to screw it in so put it on don't press on the middle of the of the plate here Do the other screw here. Gently tighten it. There's no need for over tighten it. So how does it work? Okay, that's fine. So you can see here. Now, <clears throat> let's continue with the um, with the next part here. It will be the cover for for the. I mean the nameplate here <clears throat> just to make sure the uh, GMR sensor uh, cable I mean flex sits correct hmm Not good this uh, flex. The person who has been in here is uh, not being very careful. So that's fine. God, gosh. Nothing happened. So and there are things sits as uh, they should. Then the, um, this ring here mm, can we do it that way here and put it on where's my mark the electronics sit there so this one has to go Where did it went? Yep. Oh gosh. Come on. Then put it on here. Take good care of the flex. Then 
this flex here this one goes out here this out here So here we are, almost. Just have this one here. So there. And our cables are in. Yeah. So then, the uh, the zoom ring has to being a little off. Let's see. They sit there, and then move the zoom ring over there mark the index mark and then put it on go a little backward so it's on Whew. it was not easy then put on some screws and those are the correct screws here There, this one, and here, Last one. Gently tighten it. So whew, now we are here again, back on it. Now then I need to put in the um, the pin that hold I mean the that have the the connection to the uh, zoom ring and goes into the the mechanism that moved the zoom so if we can do it, pull it out a little, pull out the uh, the front here, because then you can see the fork. Oh come on, the moving part in here. It will say there. So if you look through there, you will see the there's a kind of a fork, and. Um, it has to go into the um, to this uh, part of the zoom. Uh, yeah, the zoom ring, and then uh, you should I should be able to put this pin in and catch the the fork. So it has to be a line that way, if you look here. And stick it in. Difficult to sometimes do it on camera. 
but uh, I think we'll make it. So, then it jumps into place. Then I just have to move it a little. Nah, too much. Just ha have to catch the the holes in here and gently press it on. So now it sits there, and then I can just add two screws. There. Whew. Now we are getting there. I mean, closer than we was some hours ago. <clears throat> now the focus. I mean, the zoom ring should work as it uh, should. And it looks really good without any problems. So I can add my my brush that sits over here. <laughs> that was just the the focus thingy. And uh, where it is here. Load my screwdriver with a screw before I put it in. Before I put the brush in. And the brush actually looks kind of little out of alignment. Just press on the side of it. I think it will work. So it looks fine. So there. I think it's okay. Then put in this tiny brush, and we have to to have the correct orientation. So there. And as I did before with the um, with the other brush. I think you cannot just put it straight in. You have to put it in a way like this and put it in. So I think it will do the same. Mm, not easy. But who should say it should be that? Maybe if I put a knife here, thin plate, <clears throat> I don't know if it will work, but uh, if I put a knife in here and press on it, then jump it into place. Okay, it works. Maybe it's that way they put it in, in the factory. I would guess so. On with the screw. Whew. And here we are. Okay. Let's see if it's correct aligned. Uh, and it should be because, as I mentioned in the beginning, there is, I don't know if you can see it here. I can go it close enough. There is there. There's a kind of uh, a little circuit board uh, pin, and the 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 bottom of the of the brush here 
which I uh, look at right now. The bottom of the, what do you say, is, uh, I mean, the concave <laughs> bottom of the of the brush uh, should be in line with the circuit board here. I mean, the little tiny circuit board when it's all the way over to it. And it's not fully aligned, so I need to adjust it a little. Just a tiny amount. I think it will be all fine there. Then tighten the screw gently. So here we are. Wow, that's all fine. <clears throat> Next, the electronic parts needs to come in. That should not take long. And there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it here? <clears throat> this one goes. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> this one goes on here and, and uh, needs some screws. Where are they? They should be at least four and five for the last part up here. <clears throat> so, there, 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 two, three. it in. <clears throat> Maybe it's uh, just easier to, when they are not tightened yet, to put in the, the flex. Okay, yeah, here we are. Wow, it works really good, this uh, plastic coat dipped thingy, brush, all made. Wow, great. It's sticky enough to do the work. Uh, earlier I tried to just add the, the plastic coat uh, directly on the tip, but it didn't work. So I ground paint it and it will stick better, much better. Yeah, see there. See there the corners here, those here. And there, it uh, the the circuit board has to sit there, and also uh, the two screws. So now here we have some more flex. Uh, the GMR. The sensor for the movement I think it is the related to the VR I guess there come on and this one comes on maybe it's better to put it on before I put the circuit board on because it's more it's a bigger one. So, okay, uh, we are almost there. Catch those. Uh, there's only one on this uh, side. Whew, 
the safe home. This one goes on here. Put in the last of the flex cables. It's really good, I can tell. Then put it in. So, and uh, the last of the flex. Hmm. So now we are here. So I just need to solder the four more cords, wires. But I can also put on this uh, this brush kind of thing. Contact. So there. Then the um, that was part of it. Huge part of it. <laughs> that was a long journey, I know, but uh, I think it was very interesting to show how it might maybe be possible to do some. Um, lens cleaning so and then I can also put in the the gear the focusing gear autofocus gear this little tiny plastic thingy has to go all the way down here And it sits there. This uh, white pin, plastic pin here, has to go onto the. Um, you can see this is how it works when you change the uh, A to M, it will uh, loosen this gear and uh, make it possible to move the focusing ring self now it has to sit somewhere here see the plastic pin down here plastic gear put this over and don't uh, press it on yet uh, because I have to move the focusing ring to get uh, the gear here to engage and it should work then Add the two screws. Hmm. There. Just give it a try. Okay, it works. Then the last screw here. Take good care of the flex here. So you're not damaged it. So gently tighten the two screws. Doesn't have to be much check again that it runs smooth and nice so that's it now we can solder some wires into place just have it so it will not stick away <clears throat> Then solder the wire here. It'll be the G G G 
G. D and G. So. Nah. Come on. Try it again. So, and then the the three wires here <coughs> for the um, uh, outer focus. Oh, I'm just not in the frame. Better do so. Hope you can see it. And where is my notes? So, <clears throat> as I said in the beginning, I set some, uh, make some notes. So it will begin with the blue, which is I. And it has to be close to the end of the lens, in this case. there. The G, which will be the green, huh, luckily. There. And as you can see here, the C will be the red one, just to make sure it is correct. It's a funny solder they use in those lenses. What's going on here? Does it not work? No, yeah, it's hot. That's weird. So, it's a different solder than normal solder. They use in their lenses. So, that was that. I mean, uh, then we can just put things together by uh, we make, we need this one. And remember, <coughs> it has to stay on A when you put this switch in. So let's see if we can go through it here. No, it will not. It has to be on M when we put it through. I mean, I could also just uh put it on first uh let's see where it is and um, where is the is here so hold it with two fingers or what do you prefer then put in the flex So, there. It's a really good tool. I can uh, recommend uh, you make that kind of tool. It's very easy. And then <coughs> put the A and M back to A. So it has to go down. Then put it out through the gap here. So, and uh, hopefully it can come out, I mean one should be able to put it out that way, okay. So if we do it in that way, put it over there, 
it will be possible. Now put the thing on here. So should be something there. Mm -hmm. Fine. And then since the uh, A is uh, the switch is set to A. The fork will be in a lower position. Then be careful to put it correct in. So we will we'll press on this side. If it comes over here, it will not work. So make sure it sits correct. So simply start with a little lower. I uh, know it's difficult to see, but uh, if you can see it and then put it in, lift it up a little. So now since it's set on A, I should not be able to move the focusing ring. So the little tiny screw here that goes on here on the side. Say that's fine. If I set it to M, I can move the focusing ring back to A. It's not possible. So now we do the rest of it and then clean the front lens. <clears throat> this ring goes in. Since I set a mark here, you can only sit that way. So if you put, try to put it in that way, no, it will not work. The big hole here has to sit to the left of this hole. And when you put it in, it will sit that way. Now the uh, mount. And be careful to when you put the long pin here in, it has to press on the on the side of the pin in here. So if I move it, you can see, hopefully you can see the aperture will move. I uh, know it's not easy because of the light. Now, put it in. And then be careful to with the contact bridge. So there. It can be a little tricky. on there. <laughs> if I move the aperture a little, hopefully it will make room enough. Nah. There we have. So have the uh, mount a little out to the side then this will come free and then you should be able to put it on so there okay so now that that was good just give it a screw too So it will not fool around. Uh, 
then make sure the uh, rubber ceiling here is uh, set correct <laughs> there the screws <laughs> and the only thing we miss is to clean the front lens So, now, we're almost there, and then the plastic part in here. Sits correct. One can lift this, uh, the contact bridge up a little. There. Then, the two smallest of the screw has to sit on the contact bridge. They are countersunk. So and this goes in here. Then the last three screws that hold the plastic ring they cannot uh, be screwed into the contact bridge because the the holes are a little too small for the head for the screw head to come in So oh, there. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. Wow, it looks better, much better than the front lens. How does it look? Well, it doesn't look really bad, in my opinion, but we will do it anyway. So Let's have something good to put it on. Maybe, yeah, this one. So I'll just do the outside first and then the inside. And I don't think there is any uh, fungus on the outside, so I will just clean it. There could be something on the inside, but it doesn't look so bad. Hmm. some eclipse. I think it will be all fine. Well, it helped. <laughs> and then do I have a better stand here? Yeah, this one looks a little better. Then the inside. Hold on a second. And out. Looks like there is something spots on. Don't know what it is. Maybe I should give it a go with the with the um, hydrogen peroxide. Just to see how good it will be. You might see there are some spots on here. Hopefully we can get them, clean them away. So there. Well, it looks like something happened.
one last go <clears throat> and I think it will be that Whoa, that helps. <laughs> wow. What a difference. What a difference. I mean, it's so much better than there was just a small hair pin here. So it's time to put it in and uh, also make sure the the spacer here comes in. So that's all fine. Let's see what we can do. Put it on a thing like that. Yeah, looks fine. And it looks fine as it is. Then put the lens in. Going backward to catch the thread. It's there. And put it on manual. Because then you have a better grip. Or we could also zoom out a little and tighten it. There was just something on here. So we are no, we are not there. We actually miss a sting. And it's not that part here. It's... <laughs> of course it's for the bloody piece of thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll just take it out. No problem with that. It sits really tight. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? No. So here we are. I just missed the blood, bloody plate. But we'll, do, we'll make it. To make it correct, yes. <laughs> Things happen now and then when it's going late. Okay. So there. In with that. It doesn't really look very good. So we're but I will put it on anyway. If it has to sit there, it has to sit there. It's not really good. <laughs> so, for now, it's okay. I know it's not the best of them, but uh, hopefully it will stay there. can be that it will fool around and uh, but then I can just take it out and let it be so there it is just need to put the 
the name not the name ring but the retaining ring on and say that's all fine for now it has been a long journey so hopefully you have I mean you can use the info about this long journey working with a lens okay it's not very good for the rubber uh, tool it's not easy to catch the thread I think this one might work yeah No, it will not. Didn't catch the thread. Correct. So here we are. It has to have the click when it goes on the thread. It's very important. So there. Give it a twist, and that's it. So I think it will be interesting to. I mean, I also use uh, have to put the the rubber on, and uh, we'll just do so. It has to sit correct. The sharp edge, sharp edge here, you have the the anklet uh, end here. And the, sh the sharp end has to go against the the uh, end of the zoom ring. I mean, it looks better. So we are almost there. Yeah. So that there was just a tiny hair out with that. So it looks like we are almost there at home, same home, safe home. And uh, to me it looks better. Hold on a second. Um I have to show you how it looks uh when I took a picture of the two. Um, so I have an, it's my old uh, Nikon D40X, which is a, actually a nice camera, um, still, <laughs> it's old, I know, but um, how does the result actually act? Uh, well, I took a picture, it's the before picture, uh, maybe I can show it better here. And uh, if we look, oh, sorry, <laughs> it looks there, uh, it's the result, and what's after? It's straight out of the camera. So you can see before, and this is after. It pops, really. And um, it can show you, yeah, it works. <laughs> And the lens is also, I mean, it's really slowly in the focus uh, mechanism. It's not the fastest uh, I've seen. Not at all. <laughs> but it works um, as it should. So I'm, uh, I'm quite impressed by the result. I will show you the picture uh, in the video. Um, so, the, so you can see it on your own screen. So that's all for me yeah that's all hope you enjoy the content there will be much more stuff sooner bye bye